Hi everyone, I will be using ChatGPT to create an Azure DevOps pipeline with Terraform in deploying Azure resources. So the objective of this demo is to exclusively use ChatGPT to create this pipeline uh, from scratch. And I'm assuming that I have little to no knowledge in creating a pipeline and relying uh, solely on ChatGPT. At, at the end, I'll recap kind of what worked well and didn't work so well. So here I have my initial query as an Azure engineer, how do I create an Azure DevOps pipeline to, to deploy Azure Functions app using Terraform. So here we get some high level steps, which I find I'm pretty satisfied with. Create a project, set up the Terraform code, service connection, the extension, and creating the pipeline. So let's create a new project, give it a name. Uh, it's, it's created. I looked at the steps here, set up, get, create a service connection, install Terraform extension to your organization. Uh, let's create a service connection and get kind of get more details on how to do that so go to project settings service connection select azure resource manager project settings service connections create service connection and azure resource manager now provide now the steps don't align to what's in the UI and there's service principle automatic the recommended and then there's manual Let's see here I'll just go ahead and create that so Let's get more details. To create Azure DevOps service connection, should I choose service principle? Yes, you can choose a service principle. You'll need to create a service principle in Azure DevOps. I'm going, now should you create one in Azure AD and then use that in the service connection settings. But how about choosing the recommended option? Creating a service connection. So to create a service connection, the recommended, here's how to do that. Select the project settings, service connection. Select a service principle or create a new one and verify that. I don't really see those options here, but you know what? Let's just go ahead. So it's creating the connection. At this point, I had already um, authenticated to uh, Azure as a global admin uh, where the DevOps can create a service principle for me. So let's take a look at the subscription and the service principle that is assigned to it. And here's the service principle uh, details, uh, including the client ID. And it has a contributor rule against that subscription. So we've created the service connection and now next is let's install the Terraform extension in the Azure DevOps organization. So let's see how what's the uh, detailed steps to do that. So go to the organization settings, select extensions, And there I have already installed it previously. It's 
And now, next, uh, let's create a pipeline. So, create a pipeline, select, select git repo, that's a repository. But I found that it was not yet fully enabled. And so, I had to initialize it. And now I can create the pipeline. And there's two options. And I'm wondering when selecting new pipeline, what do I choose? Just want to see what chat GPT recommends or I can explain it. So select Azure Repos Git, which we did, or use Classic Editor. So I didn't, it doesn't really line up to the options I'm encountering here, but uh, maybe I didn't ask the right question, but I'm going to select just the starter pipeline template. Okay, there we go. So we got that. So next is, uh, let's start to put some Terraform tasks. So I want to, you know, get some sample code on writing Terraform uh, code or tasks into the YAML pipeline. Okay, nice. So got the installer task in it, plan and apply. Give some explain kind of what each line of code does, which is really neat. And uh, let's click, yeah, I just click regenerate. Just let's see what it says on the same previous uh, question. So Install, plan, and apply. Okay, I think this time around it it skipped down on the init. But you know what? I'm going to believe this recommendation and just kind of follow through and see what happens. So I paste that in there. Uh, just save it. Now um, I gotta uh, put in the Terraform code to deploy the Azure resource, which is a storage account, app service plan, and function app. So I just had some prepared kind of on the side and just uh, pasting it in so that the uh, pipeline uh, Terraform task can uh, work with these uh, files. Uh, so here I ran the pipeline and I counted an error. Uh, no configuration files. So let's look, ask ChatGPT about this error uh, that occurred in the Terraform plan task. So the um, Terraform uh, couldn't locate the files in the working directory. And uh, here's the example kind of YAML to go with that, uh, which uh, looks to me is pretty uh, correct to what I have. And uh, let me look at more uh, examples. So let me ask again, uh, example of a Terraform step in YAML to see if there's anything uh, different. So it's still Terraform working directory, but you know, at this point, I, th I do know what the uh, correct uh, parameters are, and uh, I'm kind of asking again if there's any alternatives 
just so that I can kind of fish out the appropriate uh, parameter that I'm looking for. So yeah, so the, the right parameter that I have in this situation is just simply working directory, not Terraform working directory. So uh, I've updated that, uh, commit that. Okay, next, uh, uh, you know, let's look at the Terraform init, uh, which I'm uh, missing and trying to find uh, example of that. So, so yeah, before I had an initialization required, so I need to enter the Terraform init step. So I'm pasting that, that came from ChatGPT, uh, rerun the pipeline. So input required backend service arm. So let's ask Terraform to provide more uh, details with that. Uh, paste the error message. The error input required when running Terraform init uh, needs a uh, Azure Blob uh, storage account as a remote backend. So to resolve this error, you need to specify a backend uh, in the pipeline YAML. We see more uh, parameters regarding the backend service, which uh, I was missing. So let's go ahead and create that uh, storage account. So first creating a resource group. Okay, resource group created. Go into that resource group. Uh, let's create that storage account. Okay, uh, place it in that uh, resource group that was created. Give it, give it a storage account name, TF ChatGPT demo. Okay, create that. And now uh, copy these uh, parameters, paste it into my init, and update the resource group name, storage account name, uh, the container name. Let's give it terraform state. So going back to the storage account, I need to create that uh, container. Uh, and also the backend RM kind of state file name. Okay, and the backend service arm, uh, I'll give it the service connection. So rerun that. Okay, still get an error. Unsupported Terraform core version. Now, does not support version 0 0.15. So what is the latest Terraform version? So the training data chat GPT cut off in 2021. So yeah, there's a kind of a version gap, but um, I already know the solution to this uh, uh, latest. So this is a gap in uh, chat GPT's data. So then uh, I just put in the latest there. Okay, rerun it. Okay, so invalid backend configuration argument. So ask chat GPT, give it the error and it's providing some common causes. So those causes didn't really help, so I just let's see here added the provider Azure RM. Okay. Is there anything wrong? So I actually paste the code and ha can have them review it. So the task is defined as uh, Terraform task v1 
at zero. And yeah, it describes each line of code. And uh, just reviewing, like, storage account name, if that was correct. But I think those parameter values are fine. So uh, I updated the task v2. So uh, chat GBT didn't really. Um, uh, mentioned that, but I kind of knew the solution anyway. So, did I rerun the Terraform? No value for required variable. So, yeah, uh, how so I'm missing variables in my YAML pipeline. So, let's ask about how to do that. Uh, because my TF code had some uh, variables, so I need to establish uh, the variables in the YAML pipeline. So, anyways, um, have them already planned out on the side, so I pasted the variables, but I also have to update the command option field for plan and apply and pass in the uh, variable values so right there and right there commit and oh I had to update the uh, storage account name so, uh, so some of the variable values okay rerun that okay initialize is good uh, terraform plan Okay, the apply, so far so good. And then, all right, it went through. Let's refresh that, uh, the resources in the re resource group, uh, create the Azure function, click into it, see that, and now we've uh, ran the application. So to recap, uh, ChatGPT really helped achieve uh, what I set out for, uh, going from kind of zero to uh, accomplishing kind of uh, what I needed. Uh, it provided high level steps and I can drill into uh, each step with uh, follow up questions and it felt really uh, natural. And asking for troubleshooting based on er error messages were really helpful and uh, wasn't really far off. However, uh, there were some challenges where uh, provided code samples and instructions from uh, similar questions or questions kind of relating to one another weren't entirely uh, version compatible with each other. Uh, for example, the uh, Terraform version that initially state it stated like 0.15 so it uh, clearly stated that its data set is up until 2021, uh, but I assume this will improve over time, which uh, ex can explain where some of that version incompatibility uh, was problematic. But uh, all in all, uh, Ch ChatGBT is really uh, awesome, I have to say. So it's something that uh, I encourage anyone to use as part of their own kind of two tool set uh, to ex accelerate and assist in their productivity and so well thanks a lot for uh, watching so uh, please uh, like and subscribe if this was helpful to you
Thank you.